Do you know what group suffers the most persecution in the world today? Believe it or not, it's Christians. Followers of Jesus, lovers of Jesus Christ, they are being the most persecuted today. And I want to talk to you about that today in your morning cup of inspiration. See, we've heard of Christians in China and Pakistan and uh, Bangladesh and Iraq and Iran and even North Korea who suffer persecution daily. But they're suffering it mostly because their governments won't allow them to practice their faith or practice it openly. And so they suffer persecution. Within the last few months at Fearless Faith here, we've received so many comments from people. And they're from all over the world, um, and especially from Muslim and Hindu practicing countries. And they tell us about how they're going through persecution. They're being persecuted. They tell us how they have to like meet in small in small groups in homes and they can't even have buildings to meet in, but they're being persecuted for their faith because they've converted over to, to followers of Jesus and they believe in Jesus now. Studies have shown that all around the world, <clears throat> religious groups are, are suffering some kind of persecution, but Christians are the most frequently targeted group that is, that is uh, persecuted. The Bible tells us in 2 Timothy 3.12, <clears throat> excuse me, that all who desire to live godly in Christ Jesus will suffer persecution. All who desire to live godly in Jesus. Don't we all desire to do that? We're going to suffer persecution. I'm sure it's not something you want to read or hear. I know that it didn't throw me when I read it. But I mean, I mean who wants to suffer persecution, right? Um, who wants to be mocked or laughed at or or worse, beaten or imprisoned. Maybe you've had this happen to you in what country that you're in, or maybe so this has happened, you see you've experienced and you know firsthand what's going on. Um, and maybe you haven't yet. And I have a question, what will you do when it happens? And if you do what these people that have done that have already been imprisoned in that or that are taking persecution, then you're probably doing the right thing. And that is, you're deciding to change the world by holding your ground as a person of faith. You're hanging on to Jesus. You know, there's a lot we could be going through and a lot we will be, but the Bible says that Jesus, that God, they will never leave us or forsake us. He'll see us through it. He'll see us through, just like he did with, with Paul in prison, who was being persecuted. He saw him through that. So decide to change the world. Don't be obnoxious, argumentative, or overbearing. Uh, be known as a loving follower of Jesus. See, the, the world changers aren't, aren't appreciated. Instead, they're persecuted. I'm sure you could think of some world changers right now that, that um, they're being persecuted. They're outrightly being persecuted. And, um, but they're hanging in there. They're standing their ground. But both the obnoxious and the Christ-loving people are being persecuted today. I want to be the Christ-loving people. I don't want to be the other side of the obnoxious. No matter where you are, if you're suffering from persecution today, it should be because your life reflects Jesus Christ. If someone persecutes you for the right reasons, you're changing the world, and the world is not changing you. God bless everyone. Look forward to seeing you again for another morning cup of inspiration. Have a wonderful day.